Well, now to this story. A Spokane area doctor facing a lawsuit accused of secretly using his own sperm on a patient who went to him for fertility treatment more than 30 years ago. As Sharon Hayes filed the lawsuit after her daughter took a DNA test, which led to this shocking discovery. Jordan Smith sat down with the daughter, and he's in studio tonight with her story. Jordan. Yeah, Derek Kirsten, on the screen here behind me, Brianna Hayes, Sharon's daughter, who was conceived through artificial insemination. She took that DNA test because as a child, she battled leukemia along with endless other medical conditions. She was searching for answers to her ongoing health problems and thought she'd find them by looking at her family's lineage. Instead, she made a, another discovery. I definitely found out more than I bargained for. Brianna Hayes did what many of us have. She took part in an at-home DNA test in search of an explanation for the medical challenges that she battled. Instead, discovering a shocking secret. My father who raised me was not my biological father. And that was shattering in and of itself. It completely, you know, broke away from what I grew up knowing my whole life. Hayes's parents never told her the truth about her conception. The DNA test revealed that she had several half-siblings living in the Spokane area. Her mom eventually admitting to the truth. But Hayes discovered that she had a DNA match with the doctor who performed that artificial insemination. It was shocking to find out who my father was. It prompted the family to file a lawsuit against Dr. Claypool, citing that he committed fertility fraud, knowingly concealing the use of his own sperm during this procedure, violating Washington State's medical malpractice statute. I feel off put that I'm a product of his violation. They're seeking justice for a lie that they claim has lasted for three decades. She put her trust in this medical professional to provide a treatment and service that she thought she consented to knowing. And what we learned here tonight is that in Washington state and most of the country, there is no criminal statute specifically banning doctors from secretly using their own sperm during artificial inseminations, though the emergence of DNA testing has revealed that there are many stories out there similar to this one. The Hayes hope that their story will prompt a change here in Washington and across the country. In studio, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.